I bought a painting by Norval Morisot, or so I thought, in 2005. I bought it from a, an art gallery in Yorkville called Maslek McLeod. And the owner of the gallery, Joe McLeod, really presented himself as a, an authority on Morisot's work, said he was a friend of Morisot. Um, he represented some of Morisot's sons as artists. I hung it up, and a few years later, I was asked to participate in a show at the AGO. They were asking people from the arts community to curate a show for the sales and rentals department and bring works from your own collection, bring some of my own drawings, choose some paintings from the, from the AGO. And it was a great event. And um, the day after, I received a call and uh, they said, Kevin, we're sorry, we have to take your painting down. Uh, Gerald McMaster, who was the head uh, curator of Canadian art at the time, had a look at it. And uh, I met Gerald for tea and he said, Kevin, I just don't see the strokes of the master in this painting. I went back to the gallery to talk to Joe McLeod and he said he couldn't give me my money back because that would set off a chain of events that would result in the closing of his gallery. So I thought I can either walk away from this right now or I can start to try to learn where this painting is really from. At first I did so out of indignation because I'd felt ripped off. <laughs> but then I started thinking, well, this amazing artist uh, has been ripped off. Uh, not only is he an important Canadian artist, but he's also an iconic Indigenous person and artist. Uh, I believe that the appeal decision and the court case have, are both having ripple effects in different ways. I think the appeal decision, which really focused on um, finding that Joe McLeod's actions amounted to civil fraud, will change the way um, people buy and sell paintings across the country. I'm keeping the painting for now because I believe it will be useful for educational purposes in the right context. I didn't know what they meant, but my expert witness, Dr. Carmen Robertson, she said that although whoever painted Kevin's painting knew the symbols. They didn't use them correctly. So if you know what they mean, it, this painting doesn't really make sense. And whoever painted it knew the words, but not the language. I feel there's a strong theme of reconciliation in this story. If we're going to uh, try to have truth and reconciliation, these are, these are the kind of stories we need to hear and talk about. The four steps to reconciliation are education, awareness, understanding, and action. And to me, that's what this film represents. It's, it's an action. I hope it inspires people to set themselves on the path of the four steps of reconciliation.